welcome back to the channel the daily forex so i'm back again with another stock trading video giving you guys analysis on what's gonna happen on the market all right so right now we are currently on the apple stock market aapl as you can see right now and we are on and we are on the one hour time frame all right now what we're seeing that the market is going towards the upward trend at this point in time the market is currently going towards the upward trend now what is, what does this mean as you can see right what does this mean in this point in time you can see that during this point right here the market started to retest upwards all right but we can see that the market began to sell before the market closed so this means that this market would sell although it's showing you a signal that is going towards the upward trend for a buy right going towards the bullish pattern so what we see right here at this point let me zoom out a little bit and we'll go over to the one minute time frame all right the one minute time frame we can see that at this point right here there was a high there was a low at this point high and there was a low all right and if you zoom in a little bit you can see at this point in time there's a low and there's a high there's a low and there's a high so what does this mean that this market should go towards the downward trend for a sell that's what you are seeing right here at this point in time when the market started to sell but the market closed right before the market closed the market starts to sell so this means that if this market is opened it means that the market may sell at that point in time it might start in a sell you know trend going towards the downward trend for a sell all right now how do you trade this market successfully to be able to make profit what you do is to use in it is to use a perfect strategy to trade this market so that you be able to make profit in this type of market as you can see so right now on the chart i'm currently using you know two indicators to analyze the chart which is the macd and the rsi which is the relative trade index using it on the metatrader 5 app which is the mt5 mobile app as you can see right but for most of you all it might be using you know trading view or mt4 as well but so you can understand what i'm saying that i'm using you know the mt5 in this trading analysis all right in this trading analysis now if you want the setup for the macd indicator i'm going to share with you guys the parameters that i used for the relative trade index first of all i use period 14 for the period then for then apply to close the levels added 90 and the level of 10. so what does this level and 10 means basically it means that um i'm going to explain that on the chart right i'm going to explain that but what you should know right here is that on the description i added 90 and 10 for the levels the style on four pixels with with the first trend line here this line which is this one that i put then i use the color black all right then when you're done with that you click on done eventually then apply to all time frames this basically means that you will be able to select any time frames as you want to select right then i use the style on one pixels right here on the main page then color white with this first line here then that should be it then for the macd indicator the macd indicator is one of the you know one of the most powerful indicators it can go with different strategy at a time you can use it to trade different type of markets the currencies you know stocks market you can be used to trade indices as well right so the first ame right here i put that on 14 slow ame i put that on 24 macd sma i put that on 10 you apply to close then apply to all time frame as well with the main color on black with the last line for the pixel which is the fourth one then the signal i put that on red with the first red line here just as you can see the parameters so if you take a look at this point right here let me remove this object lines so that it doesn't distract us now take a look here let me zoom in a little bit all right now you can see if you take a look at this point right here when the macd go to this level of 10 right here you can see that the market started to retest upwards so this means that when the macd goes to the level of 10 the market started to 
buy towards the bullish pattern started to go towards the upward trend at this point in time take a look it started to go upward a little bit if you zoom in you can see it retested then started going upwards before it retest and if you trace it down here you can see that it was at the level of 10 this upwards here level of 90 so this indicates the overbought and the overpull and, and the oversold level right as you can see now take a look at this point as well this is perfect take a look here level of 10 the market retested it started to buy upwards so even even though this means that the market will buy upwards it does not mean that the market will not sell the market will buy and sell buy and sell but it will follow that straight up pattern going towards the upward trend for a buy all right take a look here you can see that at this point 90 the level of 10 here it started to buy all right and when you go to the level of the level of 10 here it started to buy and when you get to the level of 90 it started to sell towards the downward trend now what does this mean it means that with this indicator you can see quickly where the market would start to go downwards and upwards I hope you understand what i'm saying all right i hope you understand what i'm saying now this market right here ended at this point on the one minute time frame it started showing a signal that is going to sell if we go back to the one hour time frame right here take a look here if i zoom in a little bit you can see that it's going towards the upward trend at this point here it's going towards the upward trend but this candle tick right here is showing a signal for a sell but take a look at this point right here if you zoom in a little bit this is you know just analysis to tell you guys what may happen or let me say what might happen when the market have been opened what might happen what might happen when, when the market is open so like this is what you need to expect right this is what you need to expect take a look here the same thing that happened here Take a look, the market bought here, then it sold a little bit, right? It sold, it broke out, right? It sold up to this point here, it broke out, it bought, it sold at this point. So, what will happen? This market might buy a little bit before it will sell towards it our trend and what i'm seeing right here is that this market is going towards the downward trend in virtually that's the, the basic trend line pattern the market is going towards the bearish do you know why it's because the reason is because take a look the market go to the oversold at this point here the market go to the oversold at that point all right and if you take a look when it goes to this point here in the, it, it got to the oversold or, or the overbought the market goes to the oversold here it got to the overbought here at this point let me mark it so that you can see what i'm talking about I'll mark it here all right now the next one here it should the market was supposed to the market was supposed to go to the oversold all right so it was supposed to go to the oversold region but it didn't it has not so basically you are seeing that the market pattern is going towards the downward trend for a sell so that is what you should observe so if you are a trader that holds the market for too long this is what you need to expect that the market is going towards the downward trend all right the market is going to sell because normally before the market was supposed to 
sell after it has you know got into the downward trend the market is supposed to sell when when it has got into the upward trend which is the overbought all right which is the overbought all right i hope you understand what i'm saying so you guys then normally the one hour time frame is mainly used to analyze the trade when you analyze the trade during the one hour time frame you can also analyze that on other higher time frames such as the 13 minute the, the 30 minute time frame and the 15 minute time frame all right we know that the lower time frames moves quickly than the higher time frames so the lower time frames moves quickly than the higher time frames all right so if you found value in this video and this analysis that i've just shared with you guys do it to like and subscribe to the channel the daily forex for more on pretty tips and strategies i'll see you guys on the next video